All right, everybody, welcome back. So, as you've seen in the previous videos, the wood from the free firewood Friday drop off from Tony has been bucked up. And today, we're gonna start splitting it. But I thought I'd maybe change it up. It's a nice day out. I got an extra set of hands here to help me. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna split some of this by hand with the good old Maul and the Van Dusen Axe. There's my help. <laughs> she wanted to come out here and try splitting some wood. So we're gonna give it a whirl. We're gonna see which of these big blocks we can get split up. <laughs> and then the rest, we'll end up taking back to the splitter. But like I said, it was a nice day. So I figured, what the heck? Let's swing some axes. Could be a big knot. Oh. Oh. oh! oh! This one has a knot. one. I know he's got a knot right there. Let's see if that one will go. Yeah. Whoa. You gotta hit the same spot. Is that a decent X? Swing, but, but that's her doesn't matter. Oh, almost. 
ghost. Sometimes when you have big, gnarly pieces, you gotta get a little back 40 barbarian in you and go after it. Well, we ran into some problems. I swung and missed and uh, shattered the handle. So, looks like I might have another head to send to Mr. Van Dusen. Might have to do another ax for me. So, all right, so now we're just gonna load up these pieces that we split. We got quite a few done, I mean, we didn't get, you know, we weren't gonna get through this whole pile, I knew that. We just wanted something to do today. We got Mrs. Back 40 on here springing the ax. So we'll load these up and then haul them back to the shed. Just uh, two rows on the back of the tailgate split. That was the total. So we got some of that wood uh, split up and stacked in here for next year now. So as you can see, as I empty out the wood that's in here to burn, now I'm starting to restock and stack this full for next year so they can season all year under the roof in here. So not too much, but a good little start. Got two rows started there, you know, just a little bit. I know you might be thinking that it was handling that wood a little too much by throwing it from the truck onto the floor and then from the floor over to me to stack it. 
But if you think about it, it would have been about the same amount if we would have picked the rounds up, put them on the truck or the trailer, hauled them back, split them, then from the splitter brought them back and then thrown, thrown them into the shed. We would have picked them up once from the truck or from the ground to the truck, from the truck to the splitter, from the splitter back to the truck, and from the truck into the shed. So that's four times. So this way we picked them up, put them in the position to split. That's one from the ground after they were split onto the truck is two from the truck onto the floor is three and from the floor to the stack is four. So either way, it works out the same. And again, um, I don't get too hung up in all that, you know, like how many times you pick up the wood up, how many times you handle it, how many times you move it. I mean, it was a nice day. We came out, we had some fun. And that's what it's all about to me. I'm not worried about if I handle the wood five times, six times, whatever. But we got some wood in the shed for next year, drying out. And it was, like I said, it was a good little day. Got out, it was nice. Got Mrs. Back 40 out swinging the axe and swinging the mall. So, good times. So, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, the rest of that pile, we will be taking back and splitting. Uh, we'll probably be doing that either tomorrow or this weekend sometime. So, maybe we'll get Mrs. Back 40 to run the log splitter next. Hmm. We'll see. So, all right. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, be cool. Thank <laughs> you.